um, this is uh, an indoor surveillance, and we call it G-Searcher. So we can put it in an uh, area, um, always inside a building, and uh, usually in this kind of places, there are always uh, some obstacles. So our G-Searcher can find the optimal way to avoid the obstacles and find our destination. And during its searching, this... Searching what? Uh, searching for the target. Where is and, the target? Uh, assume the target is uh, in, inside the building someplace, but we don't know. So we, we check the signal strengths uh, transmitted from that target, and we make a, make a scan using this antenna during the, uh, the wandering of the robot. So as it wanders to the destination we pre-specified, pre then it will stop and the precise uh, signal strength collected inside, uh, inside this computer from the internal, and then it will find uh, where is the closest place uh, to the target. So it will uh, um, find that position and uh, di uh, direct the robot to, to move to that position. I will show you uh, how to let the robot go straight uh, Which is the destination I, I, uh, I define to let it move three meters. Uh, usually, if we want us along a lobby, it's usually very long, longer than three meters. Then we'll let it go to the end of this, uh, the other end of the lobby, and uh, it will scan the, ta the target and uh, wandering along the lobby. So, this one actually will do this. Uh, so, you can see now we have a, a computer, right? This is a, a laptop. This, is a, this laptop actually controls a robot. And then you can see here, there's a cable here. And uh, this, there, there's a cable here. So this robot will use this cable to uh, control this robot. And uh, then the thing is that we can use another uh, computer remotely lock into this one and uh, control this computer. And uh, this computer will control this one so we can do the remote control. So we can let this uh, robot go to anywhere we want. And uh, so basically we, we can do whatever we want and take any kind of route. And uh, India mentioned uh, so that we already programmed everything uh, to avoid uh, the obstacles in the area. So this is a, 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 a territory robot. So it can, it can move uh, on many, many different terrains. And uh, so that's the purpose. And um, as you mentioned, uh, so we don't need a, we don't need to be in front of the robot, and we just need to uh, put the robot somewhere. Then we can use uh, the remote control to control the robot. For example, we can use uh, the cell phone to control this robot. That's okay. We we have the 3G, right? So we can use uh, the 3G data plan, and we can use our phone, even our phone, to control the whole thing here, right? And uh, so that's the idea. So we want to uh, implement. A ubiquitous controller, which can control the robot to go anywhere we want, and to search any bad guy hiding in any kind of places, and uh, of course, the, the robot should be able to uh, climb over there. <laughs> That's the only limitation. And uh, so, this antenna is a very powerful one. This antenna is a directional antenna. But it's not, an, it's not a mechanical antenna, it's a, an electronic steerable antenna. It can, we can send a command to change the beam of this antenna, basically means the direction of the antenna. So we can find at which direction the signal is coming from.